But it is not as though the word of God has failed. So what is the word of God? That's the promise. That's the promise that God gave Abraham, where God says, I will bless you and make your name great and your descendants will be numerous. I will give you many children and all nations on earth will be blessed through you. And so this is God's blessing to Abraham and his children, that they are heirs of the blessing of God. And so it seems like there's a contradiction here because if Israel are heirs of the promise of the blessing of God, then why aren't they saved? Has God's word somehow failed? This, the promises that God made to Abraham, has that word failed? And here Paul explains why it hasn't failed. He says, but it is not as though the word of God has failed. For not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel. And not all are children of Abraham because they are his offspring. But through Isaac shall your offspring be named. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as offspring. So the purpose of these verses is to show us that it is not your pedigree that saves you. Just because you are born a child of Abraham, just because you are Jewish and of Israel, according to the flesh, doesn't mean that you are considered a child of God. And so that's what Paul is saying here. Not all who are Israel belong to Israel, which is a very offensive thing to say to a Jewish person. Like, even though you are Jewish, it doesn't mean you're Jewish. And so why would Paul say such a thing? He's saying because salvation, becoming a child of God, doesn't come from your pedigree. Even though God chose Abraham and Israel to bring his salvation plan to earth through them, doesn't automatically mean that you are children of God. In order for anyone, whether Jew or Gentile, to become a child of God, you have to have faith in Christ. So it is the children of the promise that are considered the offspring of Abraham. And the promise is God's blessing. It's grace. It's Christ. It's the seed of Abraham, the promised one. It is through what Christ has done that we are blessed. It is through God blessing us by his grace that we are blessed, that we are saved, and it is nothing to do with us. And this is the whole point that is being made here. Verse 9, For this is what the promise said, About this time next year I will return, and Sarah shall have a son. And so this was God's promise to Abraham and to Sarah that they would have a child. Even though it was impossible for them to have a child, God would miraculously give them a child. And so the Bible says that Abraham believed God and that was credited to him as righteousness because, see, Abraham didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve favor and blessing from God. In fact, in those days, if you were barren, it was a sign that you were a sinner. There was something wrong with you. You were under curse. And so they would have lived with that their whole life. And so all of a sudden, God shows up and says, I'm going to bless you and give you a child. And so instead of Abraham saying, oh, I'm not worthy. Oh, woe is me. I don't deserve this. He just believed God. God, I believe that when you promise me that I'm going to have a child, I believe that we're going to have a child. And for God, God credited that faith with righteousness because his faith wasn't in himself. And his performance, his faith was in God's desire and ability to bless him just because he wants to bless him. And that is the kind of faith that everyone needs to have in order to become a child of God, to believe the promise that salvation comes to us, not because of our pedigree or our performance, but it comes to us by God's ability, by God's grace, because God has chosen to save us, that only he can save us. We cannot save ourselves, no matter how we were born, what we were born into, whether we're rich, smart, and none of it can save us. Only Christ can save us. And so this verse simply shows us that there was nothing that Abraham and Sarah did in their performance that caused them to be blessed by God. And then the next verse is actually going to reinforce the understanding that it is not through pedigree. 